You failed, Skeleton. Yes. In other words, I attacked him so many times, when he tried to run, I stuck my foot out and tripped him. Then you all pointed and laughed as he cried. Black bloody tears. Why are they black? Because... He has no eyes. So he's crying shadow? He's crying the insides of his eye sockets. Which are <laughs> coated in shadow. Exactly. So, he's crying tears made out of shadow. And blood. And blood. By the fact that he's a skeleton. Yes, and no <laughs> veins whatsoever. He's got one vein hiding in the back of his head. It's used for tears. That's all. Oh, our first gin battle. Yeah. Now, how, how often are these things in the game? Well... You get four characters, and each character gets seven to Jin. Jin. I'm so used to saying it the wrong way. So, seven times four is twenty-eight. So Mars is Jin. Yes, that's fire. That means fire. So is it going to go to Comostrophe? Yes, well, it'll, event it'll start out going to Underscore, but I switch it to Comostrophe, because it's his element. It looks like he's got tails from Sonic the Hedgehog's tail. It's more like, uh, fanning out, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Feathers? Peacock tail. Huh. Did he sound like a peacock to you? No. <laughs> the, the djinn attacks and, well, it's fire. So you can use water on it? We don't have anyone with water. Why? Because we haven't met her yet. <laughs> Alright. Now, do you have to just defeat them, or do you use their special way of catching them? You failed Mars Jin. So all you have to do is just beat him up into a pulp and then It's join funny, you. that guy had a neutral face when the battle ended. You beat them to a pulp and they join with you? Yes, and they then... Basically, you're forming a gang. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Medieval gangs for the win. He had an, a somewhat unhappy face when we beat the guy, and... He joined us. And then I he says, to catch keep that. your eyes peeled for others like it, and runs away crying. I wanted to catch that one. Man, stupid Pokemon catchers. <laughs> Pokemon aren't in this game. You wait for them to whittle down the HP just perfectly for catching, then you run in and throw a Pokeball at it and catch it and then run off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except well, Pokemon is... as an MMORPG. <laughs> <laughs> Except you don't catch Pokemon in this game. They are homicidal and kill each other Pokemon, steal parts of them, and attack yeah, you. Yeah, you just used it. Mars. Yes. It went like, whee, and then jumped down on the guy and fire went all over the place. Flint? That's the name of the ant from Bugs Life, right? I think so. No, Flick. Flick. I'm not thinking of Flint. Flint Eastwood. <laughs> oh. oh, poor Ross. He had a wife and kid up there. Were they invisible? Yes. Or did I kill them when I walked across it? No. You pushed their father and husband over their dead bodies. So if they're dead, why are you complaining that he had a wife and kid up there? Because he killed them. Uh... <laughs> It's almost... It's, all right, it's a tree? It's a tree. It almost looks like a Oh, I thought that was a, a person at first. <laughs> I thought it, it was a girl. It does. It somewhat looks like a man, doesn't it? I thought it? it was a girl. Help me, somebody. <laughs> it's going on inside the tree's head. Help me, Rhonda. Yeah, get her out of my heart. <laughs> Why am I hearing this inside the tree? For those of you who cannot see, which is all of you except for me and Mr. Blue, I was just giving him an odd look. Well, I'm hearing weird things from that tree's head. I think it's funny. A water gen? I pushed... No, that's air. Ooh. I pushed the statue away, and I'm standing on an empty hole, and I somehow still managed to find purchase enough to jump. You can't move it? This is where I did not forget that mistake I made. Okay, we moved her towards us. Yes. Because every time I play through this game, I always forget, and that statue is in a new place. That's weird. Yeah. The statue's moving. The statue's alive! That's odd. It's 
It's gonna jump down and kill us all. Well, I always end up forgetting. When you leave, the statue moves itself back to its original spot when... when you're inside that cave. See, now it's back. No! Not enough pipi. Yes. We need more pipi. No, not Kamashpi, he's full of it. Ah, no. <laughs> what was that warning his sister gave him before you guys left the village? Don't drink the stagnant water? <laughs> Don't drink the water. You just talked to that one and it joined you. <laughs> yes. You didn't have to beat it into a pulp, it was a willing gang member. Yeah. It, it, our uh, reputation has preceded us and it didn't want a piece of that. You went and you did a few mayhem missions, got your respect up in this town. Yeah. Now you got a member. Yeah. Man, I love Saints Row. And we're, fall and we're chasing after a rival gang, apparently. Team Transvestite. Yes. Team Why? Transvestite. Although, those National Transvestites of Golden Sun do die later. <laughs> Spoilers! Find out how later in the commentary. I can't help but notice that innkeeper looks a lot like Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Or Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> or both. <laughs> yeah. Obi-Wan Kenoris. Chuck Kenobi. Chuck Kenobi. Kenoris. Chuck Kenobi Kenoris. Yeah, it's hey, Chuck Kenobi yeah. Kenoris. That's the name for him. That is, that's a big house. That's the king's mansion. Let's steal it. It's like an apple in that tree. The Lord will only meet with brave and mighty warriors. You I don't, don't know seem the to type. Is... Think you're up to it? I don't know the Lord is prejudiced. Well, he's trying to find people who can end the curse turning his people into trees. Why do I want my people turning into trees? It's because he's cutting down a sacred trees. tree. That can talk and has a mind of its own. I like my people turning into trees. I can't hope to see that nut shaking in the tree. <laughs> Look at the nut. <laughs> nut. Ha! <laughs> Balls! Balls, Ollie. Oh, I'd like to point out now that it's been like... This is probably the third part. Yeah, this is the part three of this round. Yeah. Uh, we're recording this on an, on not on the emulator anymore. Yeah. So that's why you see the frame. We're using a Game Boy Advance adapter that... that attaches itself to the bottom of my uh, GameCube, which makes it no longer... it makes it more square-like than rectangle-like now. <laughs> this is still your... this is again the first golden... Or the first uh, Game Boy Advance commentary you've done, right? Yeah. So this is the first time recording on the GameCube? Pretty much now. <laughs> this game I chose to do commentaries on is just full of first for you, isn't it? First one for you. First Game Boy Advance. First now on GameCube. First commentary is with me. So I my first, first view. Well, my first commentary and your first commentary with me. I'm trying to think of other ones. Yeah. Why? Did you the gate open? Is it the first time we've switched recording types, like emulator and now GameCube? Well, unless you're counting switching from the old cable to the new cable to the new box. No, because we're using two completely different systems to do it now. That's true. Who does? Although in terms of series, I did my Sly Cooper one and two games on the PlayStation Two, and then Sly Three. On the Sly, on the PlayStation 3 with the PS3 version. Did Sly 3 ever come out for PS2? Yeah. Hmm. All three of them were on the PlayStation 2, and then they put all three games on a one disc on the PlayStation 3 in HD. Yeah. Can't wait for Sly 4. Yeah. <laughs> so flipping anxious. I'm pre-ordering it the moment they say I can. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going into the Queen's bedroom, more or less here. It's like in um, Chrono Trigger, you go into that princess's room and she's like, eh. and then the maiden's like, please tell me you don't do it. So, eh. Oh my god! 